The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 15, verses 18 to 21. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. But all these things they will do to you on account of my name, because they do not know him who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the gospel passage that we have heard, Jesus makes it very clear to each one of us when we are persecuted, when we are harassed for our faith in Jesus, we are not to worry, we are not to think of anything. Because Jesus has told us very clearly that what they have done to him, they will do it the same for us. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, when we walk on the path which our Savior has taught us, when we forgive, when we love, when we walk the extra mile, when we do good when we live our lives pure. All these things are not acceptable to the world. And therefore, the world knows only one way, and that is to silence the person instead of allowing him to do good. And Jesus tells his disciples and each one of us that this is what they did to him, and this is what they will do it to us as well. But what should be our response? Should I stop when someone persecutes me? Should I stop doing good when someone harasses me? What should be my response? And the response Jesus gives us in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 verse 11 and Jesus says in the Beatitudes Blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you and speak all kinds of evil against you because you are my followers. Be happy and glad for a great reward is kept for you in heaven. This is how they persecuted the prophets who lived before you. Our response should be this. Uh, response is what Jesus wants us to be happy and glad rather than stop doing the good. As St. Paul says, never grow tired of doing what is good. May this Holy Eucharist give us the grace, give us the strength to continue to spread the good news of our Savior Jesus and more importantly be rooted in Christ so that we are never ever uprooted by the world. May God give us the grace and strength. Amen.